Hello, it is June 1st and this is Kate with Kate's Crafting Corner. I have two dogs up here so I could show them to you, but they know there's a treat up here so they're being a little wild. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to show them the doggies and then give them their treats and, um, yeah, so then we can start. Gracie, look here. Look. See, here's Gracie. She is almost a year old. She'll be a year old this month. So she's gotten quite the big girl. And here's Georgie. He will be six months this year, this month. Oops. Oops. Oh, geez. Um, sorry guys. Um, so yes. So, um, we took them to the dog park for the first time, and they are almost the same size. Come here, baby. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Gracie has to go to the vet next week, and um, besides that, they're doing really good. And that is the dog update. And come here. Here you go. There you go. Okay, bye. Um... Sorry, things got shifted around a little bit. But yeah, so Gracie and Georgie, they're doing so good. We took Georgie to the dog park for the first time. He didn't love it. Um, he's uh, more like a low, I mean, not like a homebody. Like, you know, he's got Gracie, he's got us, and he's happy with that. But we need him to be more social. So um, Gracie, however, loved the dog park. And... Uh, we took them a couple weeks ago. There was like almost no one there, um, but it was a re it was a really nice day. And so, yeah, that's the update with them. Gracie uh, has these like bumps with like a crater in the middle, and it looks like possibly it's um, from what I looked up online that there's this fly that will lay eggs and that can get into um under the skin we had this in west africa they were called mango worms and it was unavoidable for dogs to get them but with those you would just squeeze them out you'd pop um you'd pop them out and it was it, it was gross looking but it was really not a big deal to take care of um and get rid of them you didn't have to take them to the vet I did try to squeeze one out, which, before I had looked it up, which turns out to not be a good thing because they can rupture and then a toxin can get into the dog's bloodstream. So, um, I called the vet and their earliest appointment was June 8th, so, um, two weeks after I called them, but we'll be taking her in and hopefully they can, um, get that taken care of. She, like... I noticed one and it was there for the longest time and now there's like five and um so we really need to get that taken care of but that's not why you guys are here um <laughs> I just like to show the dog so I can look back at my videos one day and just remember my little puppies um but uh, on other like life news type of things since quarantine started I've lost 10 pounds so um I'm at like the least I've weighed since basically college and um just really happy about that so um I for mania I managed to get 20 starts which is less than I was hoping for but since it's the year 2020 I mean if you're doing the number of starts as the year it was still pretty good progress so um I'm going to quickly show you the ones that I didn't get started. My intention is for this month to really try to focus on finishes. And I'm trying to do two finishes to one start. So kind of buying starts. Um, and so I, some of these I really want to start. Um, like for example, the one on the top here. This is the only seasonal celebration I didn't start, and it is summer, and it is summer right now. So I would really like to finish two smalls that are close to a finish so I can get this started and hopefully finish it before the summer is over. So, um, 
so I'll, some of these will be held over for next mania or just later um, but some I would really like to get started in the next month or so so like I said summer um, then royal queen which is the only queen I didn't get started and she's also the one I acquired first. So that's really kind of sad. I had this nice green fabric to stitch her on. But I was trying to push some starts yesterday. And I pulled her out. And I just, I couldn't wrap my head around it. And it was also like 1 in the morning. So I was just like, no. We're just going to leave it. Um, Sweet Dreams from Lavender and Lace. I love this one. So I really would like to get it started sometime soon. The Summer Princess from Brooks Books. Um, I still haven't gotten this one started. And, I mean, this one was never even spun, so, on the wheel. So, I mean, um, Welcome Home, which I'm kind of okay with it not having gone spun. I want to start it, but, I mean, I need to grid the fabric and everything, and so it's fine that that didn't um, visit Isengard. Welcome to Rivendell, Visit Terra, which it's fine that these didn't get started because I think I have um, four or five of them started, so I'd like to finish one or two before starting another one, so. This one, it did get spun, and I just didn't get it started, and um, that's okay because I'd like to focus, like, spend some more time actually stitching on it when I do um, get around to that. I didn't get Neunchenstein started, which oh, is a bummer, but it was never spun. And um, Kingdom of Books, same thing, never spun. My birthday is next month, and so I am considering starting this as, and put having it as a focus in July as a birthday new start. However, I might instead um, focus on one of my Mirabilia ladies, um, possibly the green conversion of red. I think that was a birthday start a couple years ago. And so um, I might just focus on that. I haven't fully decided and I have a month to decide. So um, no big deal. I'm still working on my room. <laughs> um, my husband moved some boxes in here from the room that's going to be his office that has been just storing some boxes because um, we we cleaned our carpet in the bedroom, like shampooed it, and so we put the nightstands into that office room and now we need to pull them out to set them back up, um, but we haven't done that yet and we should have done that this weekend we should have done that the weekend before but we didn't and um uh and so there are some boxes here and he keeps asking me like when are you gonna do when are you gonna finish setting up your desk and your room and i'm like i can't with these boxes that you've just placed in the room because i need to walk around and just like this is gonna go here and this is gonna go here to really get the feel for what I want and with these boxes in the way it's just not happening and so I told him that and I need the boxes gone so we've got to do the nightstands so we could put these boxes back in that room and then I can finish with this room and then I can do my tour and um I mean there's other rooms I need to put some focus and I've done a little organization in the kitchen but it's hard when he's working there because um I don't like to be where he's working. He just, he grumbles a lot. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird seeing how your spouse works because you, like, never actually see them working because um, you're not in their office or anything with them. And so, like, seeing the working and, like, they have video conferences and I hate that because they're all kind of rude to each other and I, that would not like I don't handle that well and so I really hate being downstairs when he's working and since he's a workaholic that's frequently and so I'm upstairs a lot but it is hot and it's hot upstairs so I've had to go downstairs sometimes but it's not my favorite <laughs> it's 
So, um, yeah, I, my head's kind of all over the place right now. So, I'm sorry. And this video is going to be unedited because it's mainly new starts. And so, there's just no point in just in editing this. I'm just going to record it and upload it. So, sorry about that. But, um, yeah. Anyways, okay. So, we talked about the main new starts. I didn't get done. I only worked on one whip. Um, and even then, I did not do much. Like, maybe 500 stitches. But that is on these dogs. And um, so I filled in this ear over here. And I worked a little bit here and here. And so um, my intention is I'd like to scroll this up, which should then put everything in the frame now. And then I want to finish this in June. I need to get this off my plate. So this is going to be my downstairs focus piece. And so in the evenings while watching TV or whatever, this is what I will work on. Um, so that is my plan with that. So now we'll get on to um, the new starts. And I am going to show these in the order in which I started them. So the very first day was Milady Chateau. And this seems like an age ago. <laughs> I just, oh, it was forever ago. I don't even remember stitch counts on things. I know that part of the reason why it was so, um, I didn't get all my starts in is because it was so hard for me to put down some of these starts. Like, I just wanted to keep on working on them. A lot of them got, like, 500 stitches in them. Um, so, okay, this one, I mean, that's a pretty decent start. Um, and those are all half stitches, so, but, I mean, it still takes time. And I'm so glad I got to start this. It's so beautiful and... It's going to be fun trying to fit all of these into my storage baskets because they take up so much space. I have to kind of put these away as I go because otherwise um, it'll all be a jumbled mess in the end. So next we have Afternoon in London from Country Cottage Needleworks. And this wasn't my biggest start, but... Um, I did some clouds and the start of the bus. And this one I really want to get back to. And I think it would be pretty quick. Um, there's four others in this series. And I would like to acquire them. Um, I just, I love them so much. And my sister in Germany has already asked if she could do them after me. So um, I'll be passing along the patterns to her once I complete them. So I do need to finish this um, so she can have it. Um, next was my start on the June Cottage. And this is what I did. I think that's a fairly decent start. Um, if I could get this one finished this month, that would be awesome. I also have the May one that still needs to be finished. So I don't know if I'll focus on June or if I'll focus on May or if I'll focus on July because, um, then I could actually have it FFO'd for July. So... One of those is probably going to be the first thing I focus on for trying to finish um, when I'm upstairs. And this one I'm actually going to just stick right there. Um, next 
we have the Summer Queen. Yeah, Summer Queen from Mirabilia. Um, this is on a Merlot fabric from Color and Cotton. Here's what Summer Queen will look like. And um, here's what I did on her. So not a big start. In the beginning of Mania, I was able to contain my stitching a little bit better than, sorry, I thought one of my dogs went into the closet, um, than I was towards the middle and end of Mania where the stitching got out of control. Like, I just wanted to stitch and not stop on a project. Next, we have Nantucket Rose from Lavender and Lace. And got a pretty good start on her. That's what I got done. So, that is Nantucket Rose. All of these ones so far have the daily vlog. Um, towards the end, I recorded them, but I never uploaded them because I just kept getting behind. And so, if you guys want, I can still edit those all together, but at the moment, um, okay, this is where the problem started with stopping stitching. <laughs> this is the first one that I really, like, couldn't get myself to stop. Um, this is Garden Prelude from Mirabilia. And let's see. This this is the stitching I got done on her. Like a ton of her hair. And I just wanted to keep going. And on my blog, I mentioned this, um, but this is one that if you want to do it, but the number of Karen water lilies is throwing you off because those are quite expensive. Looking at the pattern, I'm pretty sure the Karen water lilies are only in the flowers, um, in the flowers over here. So this is one you could very easily stitch from stash. I thought maybe it would be in the ribbons in her dress or her hair, but no, that's DMC. Um, so this is one that if it's just not in budget to get all the water lilies and you have some things from stash, like even DMCs from stash or hand dyes that are left over from other projects that are just like flower colors, it would really work for that. And um, had I known that's what I would have done. I probably wouldn't have purchased that. If I get further into the pattern and I discover that the water lilies are used, I'll let you guys know. But, um, I mean, the colors of the water lilies here are like yellow, yellow and pink. And, and I just don't see where that would be anywhere other than in those flowers. So, um... You can definitely stitch this one from stash. Next up, we have the spring celebration. Um, I feel like these are other ones that would be really easy for me to finish in my um, quest for finishes because I'm only stitching the part on top and this is what I got done. So, I mean, it would not be, I think it would just be a couple days work to get this completely finished. I have not entered a bunch of these into my spreadsheet yet, so I need to do that. I don't believe I crossed over to 200, which is good. <laughs> Because I really, like, even though I do these starts, I really do want to whip down. And, um, so, 
yeah, so for the rest of the year, instead of making a bunch of starts, I really would like to try to focus on finishing some things. I have some like pedal pusher patterns that are so close to being finished. I just need to do it. Um, Next up, we have Welcome to Rohan. And I did not get a lot on this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, maybe a hundred stitches, if even. Um, so that's Rohan. Next, I have two lavender and laces, and I'm not sure which one I started first, because in my box, I just had them next to each other. So, this one is the Quilt Maker. And I worked on her hair. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with the progress. And then we have Queen Anne's Lace. To be honest, I don't even remember where I worked on in this one. Okay, part of her dress. Oh uh, yeah, this was just, I mean, that's all I did. I, actually, I think it's this way. So this, I think, 75 stitches if even, maybe just 50. Then we have um, Victorian Mansion, I think. And I am really pleased with my start on this one. these colors they're just so nice I don't know why I'm yawning so much um I mean, I got a fair amount of sleep last night, and I think seven hours. Next, we have Winter, um, Welcome to Winterfell. So, yeah, I do have five of these started. Then I had forgotten I'd started Welcome to Winterfell. Um, I'm fairly positive I got barely anything started on this. 200 stitches. Next we have the Autumn Celebration, and I very nearly finished the whole top banner for this one, so again, this one will be super, um, 
easy to finish, I think. Yeah, because so I started this cloud. Sorry, you guys. Jeez. Um, so yeah, I don't think it will take a lot of time to finish this one at all. Um, next we have Fairy Grandmother, and I got a lot of stitches done on her. I think close to 500. I just couldn't stop. Some of these... I mean, it was really tough for me to make myself stop working on them to move on to the next start. Um, I would like, I would justify it by finding a challenge on, a stitching challenge on Facebook and being like, well, I have to finish. This one requires 200 and then if I double it, it's 400 and then I found this other one on another page that requires... 500 and so really I have to do 500 instead of the 200 for the original challenge I was trying to fit it in and um yeah I played a lot of games with myself like that which is <laughs> I mean it's just kind of ridiculous no one's making me move on to the next start but myself so Royal Games. I still need to get the other one in the series and I, I'm i still thinking that I'm going to give these to my husband. Um, he likes it when we can find poker on TV and to watch poker and uh, so yeah. So I got again quite a bit of black done. This is the division between the two queens. And um, then I started working on the Queen of Spades down here. And so I'm really happy with the progress on this one. Next we have Once Upon a Time Sampler from Frosted Pumpkin. Apparently I decided to give this one two needle minders. Um, but yeah, I made a decent start at the top banner. I think I mentioned that for this one, I'd like to finish the whole border by the end of this year and then just do this as my own yearly stitch along by finishing one a month next year, one block a month. I have several frosted pumpkins that really I could do that for and then just make it a frosted pumpkin year for me, but um, I don't know if I'll do that with all three of them that I have. Actually four. I have the Welcome to Pumpkinville one, this Once Upon a Time, all three of the um, story ones. So that's that would be four. And basically I would probably be stitching on nothing but Frosted Pumpkin. Um, next we have Winter Queen from Mirabilia. Here is my start on her. 
Um, there's a little bit of white there that's hard to see. And, um, yeah, I think I was stitching to the page break, so that's why I ended up switching colors. Probably on my quest to get, I think for this, my, for almost everything, my quest was like 450 stitches. <laughs> Next we have Summer Stroll from Dimensions. And I believe we are, yeah, there's only a few more starts. This was one of the last starts I did. Um, but again, this is one I couldn't stop stitching on. I think there's over a thousand stitches here. I think around 1100. And I... I worked on this for several days. I just couldn't stop. And uh, to be honest, I'm not upset about that. There are actually a couple colors in here, but. Um, or are there? I don't remember now to tell you the truth. I don't know. I couldn't stop working on her. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm yawning like this. Couldn't stop working on her. Didn't want to move on. And, um, you know, no regrets about that. I really enjoyed her. Okay, I'm just going to pull out all the rest of the starts here. So they're right in front of me. I've been, I was storing all of them in this um, little box I had. So that's what I've been messing around with over here. Okay, now we have July Cottage. And I, I'm really proud of the progress I made on this one. Um, July is my birthday month, and so I would really like to have this done. And this pattern uses a ton of specialty flosses. Um, almost all of the colors in here are, are specialty flosses. There's five of them. And so I would love to have this done in time for July. So maybe this will be the one I focus on. I don't know. There's so many and they all call to me every time I look at them. Um, I am going to put this over here. Now we have the schoolhouse in this holiday, um, hometown holiday series from Little House Needleworks. And I made a pretty decent start. So I'm happy with that. This is another one, won't take long to finish. Um, a few days of really focused stitching. Um, now we have Squad Ghouls from Frosted Pumpkin. And I, um, hang on. No, this way is right. I almost finished the first border on this one. But I, it's a little over halfway done with the border. There's four borders. I don't know if I will do all four borders and then start stitching the inside or if I'll just finish this first one and then start the monster inside. But um, either way, it was so nice to just work with that one color and just it was a kind of repeating pattern a bit and it was just nice to just mindlessly stitch on it. 
Um, now we have the final two that I worked on last night. Autumn Queen from Mirabilia. I think I did 150 stitches on her. And that's in the hair. And next, finally, we have Spring Queen. And I did 175 stitches on her last night. And this is just a section of the dress. I was having a lot of trouble just focusing on stitching last night. I I was just scrolling on my phone a lot um, because I sat I sat down to stitch for probably like ten hours, and I was just kept scrolling on my phone, and so that was really annoying because I could have started a bunch in that amount of time, but I only got two started. Um, but you know, some days are just like that. I didn't actually stitch for four days prior to that because I got super into my Sims game and I don't play Sims a lot, but I was so into my Sims family. Like I've got six kids now and <laughs> I don't know. My husband's almost at the top of his career. He's on level eight out of 10 and I just couldn't stop playing. And my sister was like, girl, you're out of control. And I was like, yeah, I know. I probably put in, in those four days, I probably put in 20 hours at least, maybe more. Um, but yeah. So those are all the things I stitched on. If you're only here for the stitching, um, I will have some goals at the end of the video but I mean if you're not interested in that you can just leave now that's fine I do have a couple of knitting type finishes and whip updates and a new start so the first one is my I finished my first sock um, I mean I don't have it match done but I finished a sock and I am so happy and proud of how it turned out I mean, look at that toe. I did that myself. I'm so proud of myself. This little unicorn is where I was at the last time we talked. And so that you can see the progress I did. Um, I would take the dogs out in the morning. And this was something that I could just stitch on without thinking. And so um, I'm really happy with that. My next finish is actually currently in use. So I will show you. This is a yarn cozy, and so you start it from down here, and you increase, and then um, you have this pat um, pattern that, um, a real simple pattern to memorize. It didn't take me long to make this. The designer has a cabled version, or a faux cable, um, that I plan on doing as well, and she also has a self-striping yarn version. Um, so I intend on making some out of all those versions. And, uh, last Friday she released for the patterns for the 50 gram. So this is a hundred gram yarn cake I have in here. She also has a yarn cozy pattern for a 50 gram and for a 20 gram. And so I intend on knitting both of those. And, um... Yeah, I'm just really happy. And it's hard to tell, but this is actually, it's a sparkly yarn in there. Yeah, it's not catching. Oh, maybe a little bit of sparkle up in there. 
but yeah I'm I'm super happy with how this turned out um which it's holding my new start in there so I will show you guys that in a minute because I'll just do the whip progress updates first um so on the top that I am making um, I didn't put this on the styrofoam because I thought it would I thought it would cooperate a little better than apparently it wants to but yeah this is just um, stockinette stitching I need to do six inches um, and so far I have done three and um, hang on I think this is where I was at the last time I showed you guys. I, I don't think that's marking where I need to start measuring from. I think I measure from here. And I think this is where I showed you guys last. I didn't work on this much, but after I finished my sock, I needed something else mindless to work on in the backyard with the dogs. Um, and so this was just, I mean, you knit across one way and then you purl across back, so pretty mindless and I need six inches so I really hope to have the six inches done by the time I come back um, at the end of the month I might do I might do try to do a weekly update but um so my goal for the month is to be at six inches on that um my next whip update and I did not do much on this at all um is on this giant oh I even stopped in the middle of a row which is oh, not the best idea always but uh, this is over 300 stitches so it's it's quite takes a long time to do a row um and it's hard to see the patterning that's forming here it's like um a triangle but yeah so where was I at So I guess I did about four rows since I talked to you guys last. And I'm just going to move this nail while I'm thinking about it. Okay. So um, if I get a chance to work on this, that's awesome. It's not my main focus right now though, so. Um... Which brings us to my new start with a bit of a story with it. Sorry. Oh my gosh. So Jesse spun the wheel for Whipgo a couple days ago. And on my non-stitching Whipgo, um, I got drawn the Raina shawl and also my Christmas balls. So I'm talking about the Raina shawl first. This was my start on the Raina shawl. And um, I started this a while ago, back when I would first learned how to knit. And don't get me wrong, I, I do like how this is looking, but these just aren't really colors that I think I'll wear <clears throat> very often. I do want to eventually finish this, but... Um, I might end up just like giving it away or something like that. And so I didn't really want to focus as much on that. It, I mean, I just used some cheap, um, I mean, $6.50 a ball. I had to get three of them. So it's not like so much cheaper than getting a fancy one. But I just used some of this from Hobby Lobby. And um, like I said, it's all right. I may end up giving it away. But it's just not what I wanted to focus on. And I did really like this pattern. It's a simple pattern. It's free. Um, <clears throat> so I decided, and it was always in my plan to, to restart this pattern. And one of my nicer hand dyed um, yarns. And so I did that. And this is on, um, from Bumblebee Acres. Their Bilbo's Trolls and their Tour de Tolkien um, Yarn Club. <coughs> I'm not sure why it's called Bilbo's Trolls because it doesn't seem 
Bilbo-y or troll -y to me, but it is such a nice combination of purples and greens, and um, yeah, I can't wait to be able to wear this. And so I restarted this like two days ago, maybe three, and I've made a lot of progress. I'm really happy with it. This is another. This is my new one to go and work on in the backyard with the dogs. It is, however, getting way hot for that here in California. Um, we've had several days of it being 103. Uh, it's supposed to reach there in the next couple days again. And it's just, oh, it's hot. It's miserable. But I am super pleased with, so I'd really like to try to finish this this month. And actually have a finish on the month it's called for. Um, but so yeah, I restarted it even though it wasn't yet June when I restarted it. Because technically it was supposed to be for the other one. And, um, yeah. So, that's what I put in the yarn cake cozy. And I love this yarn. It's so pretty. So, that is my one new start. Um, the one that was called, the other one that was called Christmas Balls. Hang on. I have stored in this box um, and my goal is to do 10 of them and I have this book from Arne and Carlos 55 Christmas balls so my goal is to do 10 um, I doubt I will be able to do all 10 this month who knows and the other thing that I'm having trouble with is they, um, they want you to do it on the double pointed needles and I am having such a struggle with this. It is so hard to wrap my mind around double pointed needles. My tension is pretty loose here and, um, I'm just kind of struggling. But that's okay because learning a new thing is always, it always takes a little bit of time. And I just have to remind myself that. So, um, you know, I, I'm going to try to work on a couple of these. See if I can master this technique. I have these, um, they're Hobby Lobby Yarn B. Um, that's red and white. I also have in here a blue and a gray. And then I have a bag of stuffing so I can stuff them. And, um, that all just kind of lives in this box with the book on top like this. Oops. But yeah, and then I keep it on top of one of my, um, storage things. But yeah, so I, I probably won't finish 10 this month because that would be one every three days, um, which I guess maybe is doable, but then I won't be able to focus on stitching. So um, we'll see how many I get done. Those were the two that were called for my, and again, I have not finished a single WebGo square. Um, so I really want to put some focus onto trying to finish some of the things that have been called. Um, like at this point, I'm halfway done with my Halloween sock, um, which is great. I, um, th okay, there is this event that started that is, today's the first day of it, and it's called Summer Sock Camp, and it's being hosted by the Crazy Sock Lady, and um, she put up long tutorials on three different methods of knitting socks, um, DPNs, Magic Loop, and the 9-inch circular. My Halloween sock was knit on the 9-inch circular. Um, I have another sock on here that, um, that I could do her to, her summer camp for it and try the new method of magic loop 
to try to like diversify for myself. And so I might do that. Um, it would probably, um, it might be my Slytherin sock maybe. Um, it hasn't been called yet. The one that was called already for Whipgo was my stripy Christmas sock. But I wanted to do that two at a time. So if I could do the Slytherin sock, doing the magic loop and learn that method, I could then be able to do, oops, my Christmas socks two at a time magic loop. And um, I think that might be a better progression. Um, it is supposed to be plain vanilla. I need to check with her and see if... Um, if you could do a different pattern and have it count for the summer camp, if you're following that method. Um, I mean, this could look fine in plain vanilla, and so maybe I will do that. So many decisions, it's so hard. It's so hard to make decisions, you guys, because I have so many nice sock patterns, but... Um, I mean, maybe just some plain stripes for my Slytherin socks would be nice. Um, so I might do that in vanilla and learn the magic loop. And then I could start the Christmas ones and do those two at a time. Um, so that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Um, I will be starting a sock here probably today because today's the first day of summer camp and you just want to get that start. Um... I do have, she said on, because I watched the first, like, oh, 20 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> Hang on. I felt like I got something stuck in my throat. My other idea is possibly to do my husband's sock. And just do these plain vanilla. Um, I do have these split into two balls to do it two at a time though. So um, I have, this is a 40 inch cable and sh or needle. And she said to do 32 inches. I'm not quite sure where my 32 inch is at the moment. So if I don't find that, then I'll just be doing this. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, so that's where my mind is at with knitting and such right now and the non-stitching whip go. For the stitching whip go, the two that were drawn were um, Visit Morador and the, Ser the Serengeti Mandala from Chatelaine. So, um... I don't think I can reach the goal of finishing Mordor this month. Um, this is the pattern. And this is my pretty meager start. So, I mean, there is a lot to be done. So I, <coughs> <coughs> I don't think I can finish that. Um... <clears throat> For Serengeti, <clears throat> my goal for that for Whip Girl was to finish the first two parts. I am almost done with the first part. So I'm thinking after I finish the dogs, I'm going to put this on my stand and keep it downstairs. But so for the first part, I just have to finish these four medallions. I've already done the beading and the specialty stitches in here. Um, the only thing I haven't done are like the bugle beads. And that's because I don't want those to break. So I'm saving that for the very end. But I did the rest of the beads. And so I have to do that. And then the part two is just cross stitching. And it's over here on each of these sides. It's like, um, a, I think it's got like a giraffe, maybe an elephant, 
and it's it's all cross stitch so um that is my goal for Serengeti and while I don't know if I will be able to finish that goal this month um it is the next thing I want to have as my focus piece downstairs and then I will leave it there until I finish that goal so yesterday was my mom's birthday and um so she was pretty excited that this was called like basically as a birthday present <laughs> so I thought that was really fun um because it's gonna be for her guys I'm a mess it's starting to get hot up here and yeah so I'm a mess right now <laughs> So, I mentioned that I hadn't yet finished um, the May Cottage. I did pull that out to show you guys where I'm at because this is another one I might try to finish as my trying to focus on some finishes this month. So, I finished the cottage. I just have to do everything else surrounding it. So, um, so I might work on this. And then the one other thing I did have to show you guys is I've talked about this pillow before, my anniversary pillow. This is the temperature garden for the first year that my husband and I dated. And now that we've been married, my plan, um, I don't think it'll be done by our, our first wedding anniversary, which is on the 23rd of this month. But I did find a fabric that is the same color. I do have to pull out all this gritting that I did. And I made the very smallest of starts on a hade on this. But I think I want to restart that anyways on maybe 18 count. Um, 28 count is just, it's gotten really small. I need to get my eyes checked again because... I do not think my current prescription is strong enough, but, um, it, it has been like three years, so, <clears throat> um, it's probably time for a stronger prescription, but, uh, yeah, that is the last of my stitching goals. The final thing that I wanted to talk about is books and, um, Nitty Natty is the other the other knitting podcasts that I watch. I watch Crazy Sock Lady and I watch Nitty Natty and those are basically the only two I watch. But um, this summer, starting today, she is hosting a Harry Potter readathon um, that will last over the course of the summer, so eight weeks. And um, she's created a schedule and how many chapters of each book you need to read each day. There's two makeup weeks, like one after the fifth book and then one at the very end. And so I, I always stop reading around the fourth book. And it's also been a really long time since I physically read the books and not just listened to them. So I've decided to do that. The problem is that, um, well, first of all, I have the illustrated editions, but they're still in storage, so I don't know where the first three illustrated are. And then also, in the physical copies, I only have the first four books here. The other three are in storage, so I really would like to hopefully sometime this summer be able to find those other books in storage. The problem is I have eh, maybe 30 books a box boxes of books in storage so I have no clue where they're at and I don't think my husband is going to want to go look through book boxes with me really so um it's also getting hot so I need to find I think there's going to be a day this next week guys the weather here is so all over the place um look at this okay so Today we have like a high, okay, tomorrow we have a high of 98, then 103, 100, then it drops down to 87, then 78, 76, 78, before jumping back up. Like, and it's been doing this all last month where it'll reach like 103. And then two days later, we're down in the 70s. And it's, 
it's insane. It's hard to deal with, honestly, because I don't handle heat well, but I do okay-ish if my body slowly works its way there. But the sudden jumps from being in the 70s or even the 60s and then we're back in the hundreds is just, it's, it makes it feel that much hotter. And so um, maybe that day, so on Saturday it will be 78. So maybe on Saturday I might try to get storage and see if I can maybe go through some of those boxes. The other problem is those boxes are way in the back of the storage unit and there are a ton of things in front of them. They're also stacked pretty high. Um, so it might be an adventure. Um, but I really would like to do that. I want to get my Brandon Sanderson hardcovers as well because the fourth book is being released in the fall. And so I want to read, like physically read the other books. And so I need to get started on that if I'm going to be finished reading them by the time the fourth book comes out. And I mean, I have them on audio and I've listened to them several times. And so I'm well versed in the books, but there's something like I was reading some characters names and I didn't even realize who they were because it's not spelled necessarily how the narrator reads it. And so, um, I'd really like to read it. And then there's some like small illustrations that are included that I've never actually seen because I haven't read them, even though I own them. So those are my two big goals. I really want to retrieve those books. Um, I obviously can't bring all my books back here yet because we don't have the bookshelves. But for um, so this week we'll be reading this book. Um, and I would really like to read the physical copy. So um, that's one of my goals. I also got the most recent in the Hunger Games series, and I want to read this. Um, I do have it on audio, but I would really like to physically read it. I read all of the other books before I listened to them, and so I'd really like to read it. And then if I can find the other three books in storage, I'd like to bring those home as well. Um, I have a place on my desk where I can put them where I think it will be nice for just like a small select number of my favorite hardcover books to be able to be. And so um, I'd really like to bring those home. Um, but yeah, those are my main goals. So I am hoping to come back with an update next week. I'd like to do updates on Mondays. Um, but we will see what happens. I I make a lot of plans and then I don't always keep them. But I haven't been working on my um my journal schedules. I I think next year I'm going to go back to the bullet journal. I've been missing that. Um but I did buy a nice um in the leafy tree top one. So I really do need to utilize that and I haven't been I have a bunch of stickers I haven't been utilizing, so I need to. So I'd like to spend um, some time at the beginning of every week working on that. But then recording on Mondays will also allow me to look back at the whole spread from the previous week to be able to see what I worked on. And um, so I think a Monday updates would work really well for me. And... Um, yeah, that's just what I'm thinking. Then they won't be over an hour long like this one. And, um, yeah, so that's all. I have noticed a spike in the numbers on my channel of subscribers. So welcome to anyone who's new. I'm at 122. Nope, sorry, 722. When I reach 750, I do want to do a giveaway. Um... I I make project bags, so I want to give away one of those. However, Georgie found his way to my sewing machine cord and chewed on it. So I'm not actually sure if my sewing machine... Like, he didn't chew all the way through, but one of the wires is exposed at the moment. And so my husband's going to use electrical tape and try to tape that up. 
but I'm a little bit worried that my sewing machine is not going to be working. So, um, if that doesn't work, then a bag won't be included in the giveaway, but I have a few other things that I would be including either way. So, um, once I reach 750, and to be honest, I've been stagnated around 700 for a year now, so this could take a while. Um, but once I reach 750, I do want to do a giveaway. And, um, so be looking for that. And yeah, that's all the updates for now. So, um, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to be able to turn on my fan here and open the window and, um, yeah, um, work on this room. Oh, that's the other thing. I need to finish this room this month and do the room tour because I was supposed to do that last month, but I was way taken over by stitching. Um, and so all the new starts of Mania, I just, I didn't put any focus into this room. So my goals for June is to finish this room, do a room tour and have that uploaded. I want to finish those dogs. That is my big goal. I want to stay caught up with the Harry Potter reading challenge within a day or two. Like, I might have a day where I don't get a chance to read, but I then would like to re um, catch up with that on the next day. So I want to stay caught up with the Harry Potter reading challenge within a day or two. Um, and I'd like to finish at least two other things like t two things to be able to do a new start for my birthday month if that is um if that's possible I, I'm also thinking of applying that two finishes for one start to all my other crafts as well so um two knitting finishes to one start how however because of the sock camp I will be starting a pair of socks but um other than that I need to finish things and um so yeah those are my basic plans and I will update you guys in about a week so in a week I should have finished the first Harry Potter book and we will see if I manage to stick up to that so um I will try to remember to link Nitty Natty and um it's actually on her other channel this and Nat that she is doing the challenge so I'll try to link directly to her Instagram post about this challenge actually it's on her blog that is the link to the um, to the tracker so you can keep track of the the um, chapters per day that you're supposed to read uh, so I'll link to that I'll link to the crazy sock lady and her summer sock challenge um, so summer sock camp so that if that was something you wanted to do, if you want to learn how to make socks, she has provided a whole video series and it's for free. And um, you can, if you want, purchase the pattern, purchase a pattern that um, is $2 and it will help support her. Since she did provide such this service for free, she's also doing a giveaway um, at the end of August that has to do with the summer sock camp and so I will include a link to that and um, besides that I think that's all so <laughs> I will finally stop talking and I will end this recording bye and I hope you guys all had a fantastic mania